Valentine's Day, everyone. It's Amanda here with your February 2019 Rune Scope. We have Venus, the goddess of love, here to help us with February's readings. And of course, the big news is your 2019 Love Rune Scopes are now available over on my Vimeo channel. You will find the link below. Uh, of course, your uh, 2019 yearly Rune Scope is over there as well. And the 2019 Career and Finance Rune Scope is there as well. So. Lots of 2019 stuff. Also, part two of your February rune scope is there. Um, this month, a new year means new decks. And my sister uh, got me this beautiful deck uh, for Christmas. It's Messages from Your Animal Spirit Guides, Oracle Cards by Stephen D. Farmer and B. Sturgis. Uh, I mean, these cards are just gorgeous. I mean, look at this, the artwork on these. So definitely check out let's see i just love it so thanks sis uh but yeah definitely check out your spiritual guidance reading for february uh in conjunction with our runes here on youtube i will be using the beautiful tarot art nouveau uh this is by lunea weatherstone and antonella castelli so let's see what the month of love holds for you Hi Taurus, let's jump into the room back, get these casts and see what February holds for you. What's going on with Taurus in February 2019? They dropped a stone. That was just one of the stones. We'll get that later. As always Taurus, keep in mind these are general readings. So the usual caveat applies. Um, not all these messages will be for you. Some are gonna be for the other Tauruses that are watching. Uh, you can always check out the video for your rising sign as well. That in fact will usually be the one that resonates more because that's more specific to your personal astrological chart. If you would like a reading that is uh, just messages for you, you would need to contact me for a private session. Um, all of the details are below. Just drop me an email. My one hour New Year's sessions will be available uh, through February 28th only. Once all the spots are filled, they're gone. So if you want two readings, looking at all of 2019 for you personally, it's one full reading with the first half of the year and another one for the second half of the year with time for questions as well. Um, just drop me a line, we can get that set up. And of course the standard 30 minute session is always available if you prefer that. In general, however, the challenge of the focus in February. What's coming up here? Well, you are someone in the reverse is um, feeling hurt, um, feeling hopeless, feeling taken advantage of, perhaps used in some way. Um, or at some point we'll be feeling that way in February, but yeah, the star in reverse is, um, giving up in, in, in some area or giving up on something or on someone. For some of you, this could be a relationship. Um, again, because it's a general reading, it doesn't mean it's yours. Not every Taurus who is married or in a long-term relationship will be dealing with this, but it could be somebody close to you, one of your kids, um, a sibling, a friend going through this. And, um, because you know, you care about them and are close to them, you could be, um, you know, have, you should have similar feelings, you know, you could be upset that a friend of yours was hurt or taken advantage of. Um, for some of you, maybe you are the one who, who hurt someone, Taurus, or has made someone feel this way. I got to throw it out there. Again, it's a general reading, lots of people watching. So, um, you know, this can also, also, um, apply to some Tauruses out there. Maybe you had to break up with somebody. You just, it wasn't working. Um, maybe you made a mistake and it's hurt them or, um, but yeah, with this rune in the reverse, it's often indicating that um, perhaps this isn't the first time because one of the messages of this rune, uh, the runes don't sugarcoat anything. So they really do just give it to you 
like it is. Um, but in the reverse, this, this one of the messages is, you know, if you're going to keep going back to someone who takes advantage of you or uses you, um, find a way to turn it to your advantage or don't do it anymore. It's basically the, the thing. So some of you, this could have been like a repeated pattern. Um, or yeah, someone just took advantage of you uh, in some way. Again, this doesn't have to be like a relationship situation. It doesn't have to be a romantic relationship. Um, it could be a friend who like uh, took advantage of you in some way or you felt used you uh, in some way. Um, a family member that you feel like just shows up when they need something. A boss, a coworker. So yeah, it's gonna be different um, for all of you. So in these general readings. In a private reading, and I could tell you how this is applying, if it applies at all, you know, this may not be for you this month. It could be that your messages are coming through your rising sign. So in the present energy though, in general, we do have the King of Cups. So this could involve a water sign, um, Pisces, Scorpio, or Cancer. Male or female, uh, these court cards, again, in a general reading, could be either gender, for some it'll be male, for, for others of you it'll be a female. Um, they could be the one that disappointed you. Um, or you disappointed them. They are coming up in the upright. So I do think, Taurus, maybe this is somebody who you were married to, involved with. Maybe you are married, but you made a mistake. Again, You made, this could have been a repeated pattern if you keep having to repeat the same uh, lesson over again. Um, for others of you, maybe this is just someone that you're interested in, but they are, maybe they're married, maybe they're not available, maybe they are, um, they're just not in, you know, they don't feel that way about you, uh, Taurus, unfortunately, and so you're disappointed and, um, you know, now, you know, if this is a, your partner and you're the one who kind of messed up your Taurus, it doesn't mean this has to end. I mean, I walk because I was is here indicating that, you know, you may be able to turn this around, you know, you may be feeling like it's hopeless or feeling like you need to, you need to give up, but you don't. Um, there could be, uh, for some of you, if, if your partner's willing to work through this, you may be able to get past this. If it's a long-term relationship or a, a marriage or a family bond or someone that you really care about. Um, I'm really getting the triangle dynamic though for some of you that this is somebody who's married and they're telling you, you know, I love you, but I can't be with you. I can't, I can't leave this person because of the kids or because of the money or because of, you know, whatever. Um, or you may be telling this water sign that Taurus, like you're the one that's married and you're like, I can't leave my husband. I can't leave my wife, you know, whatever. Um, I do feel like there's a strong bond here. Like I do feel like, a, you know, you love each other, but it's just, you, there are extenuating circumstances and. You know, maybe they're not saying we have to, we can't see each other anymore, but I, you know, we're going to have to delay this or the divorce has been delayed or, um, I'm feeling for some of you also, maybe this was a long distance relationship and somebody, you know, you had talked about you moving there or this water sign moving where you are. And it's just for whatever reason in February, maybe they're saying, you know, I can't, I can't move forward with this or you're telling them that. So Again, Taurus, does it mean it has to be over? Because again, I feel like you both care, care about each other very much, but it's just for right now, someone's just not seeing the way forward or perhaps you are the one not seeing the way forward. The help that's going to be available, we do have the Six of Swords in reverse. So that's that. Um... And this is why I was saying like someone is not going to be able to move or relocate because that's what this is, like not leaving a situation. But someone is not leaving a marriage, not leaving their family, not going to move, not either you or the other person. And it's coming up as a help. So either this relationship would benefit 
from like you guys reconnecting at a later time, maybe when this person works through all their stuff and makes a decision or the, or when you've had time to do that. Um, it's not the right time for this right now, but it doesn't mean that later won't be the right time. And I keep going back to that because if I was, um, which just means the timing is wrong or the, the goalposts, the timing goalpost has shifted out and plans that you thought would be happening perhaps this year may be pushed uh you know to next year or later this year um but it's actually helping you or helping this situation maybe because you're supposed to be with someone else or because there's uh, an opportunity for you in where you're at, or there's an opportunity for, um, yeah, like a job opportunity. Like if you were to move somewhere or, uh, you know, you wouldn't be uh, getting this great op job opportunity or you wouldn't be meeting this other person who's single. Um, for others of you, perhaps if you're the one like not leaving a marriage, not moving, if that's going to help you, you're, you've made that decision because perhaps the bond with your mate is stronger, um, has more longevity, you care more for them. Maybe you've just figured it out, you know. Um, again, it's going to be different for for all of you. Um, for, for many of you, though, it has to do with you don't want the family or the group to turn against you. You don't want to split up the family. Um, you know, you uh, for right now, you feel like it's going to help you to not disrupt the family or that's the way this person is thinking. But it's still coming up as a help to you, whether you're the one deciding this or the other person is. Taurus, there's going to be some benefit in it for you to not make this shift or change or not move or not leave um, or for them not to. You just may not see it in February, but it's actually going to end up when you look back and be like, it's a good thing I didn't do that. Or it's, a good, it's a good thing they didn't leave because it would have never worked out at that time anyway. What must be accepted? We do have uh, justice here. So um this is balance this is karma this is uh it could be legal justice for some of you maybe this has something to do with custody or visitation maybe it's somebody you've already divorced and you're disappointed or or you're in the process of um divorcing But this is a karmic situation. If it's not legal justice, it's karma. The thing with justice is though, it's fair, but we don't always feel like it's fair. Because we don't see all the dynamics at play, we don't perhaps see how some of the things we've done have affected other people. We just kind of are in our own experience, what they've done and how that's affected us. Um, because that's what Dag is indicating. Like this will make sense. There's something happening in February that again is not it's not making you happy, Taurus, but you will see later as time goes on that this was the best possible thing. This was the fair thing, it was the balanced thing. It was um like I just feel that you will look back at February and say I'm so glad that I didn't do that or I'm so glad that that happened that way. Um Now, others of you, I mean, if this is something that was actually like stolen from you, like an actual physical thing that was stolen from you by someone close to you, um, because yeah, maybe somebody stole money or, you know, took something from you or, uh, you know, you could get justice for this, you know, you, um, but it does seem like it's going to take some time for you to get back the money or get back, you know any restitution that you may win. But still, maybe it's more just in the, you know, sending a message like, hey, you're not gonna take advantage of me anymore. Um, or you're going to jail. 
Um, I do feel like this, this seems more like, uh, you know, a, a small thing for most of you. Um, if it was something that was stolen or, or someone who took something from you. For some of you, maybe it's somebody who took someone from you. Maybe this water sign person is the one who screwed up. Again, kind of talked about. Um, but they don't want to leave. They don't want to leave and abandon your family. And you're disappointed and sad, but it, you know, it's going to be a help to you, it seems, to not kick them out or for you not to leave and take the kids and go. Um, so, yeah, just a lot of information coming in here. The outcome, we've got the fool in reverse. So this is like somebody did something stupid, okay? This is like a foolish risk. You put, you know, you risked our whole life together or um, you risked our whole marriage to talk to this person that, you know, online or that for some of you, maybe this is not even this was not even like physical actual like cheating this could have just been like emotional cheating or talking but still you know it, it was the intent i think hagalos is here indicating though that perhaps whoever behaved this way whether it was you whether it was your partner um whoever it is that was talking to someone else or kind of going outside the the uh the relationship um they received the message. They didn't start it in most cases, but it kind of came out of nowhere that they received the message. Tara, some of you, it was you and you're the one who like, you know, responded or, you know, and this could have been someone from the past, an old boyfriend, an old girlfriend, somebody you were really attracted to. But this person, like whoever was sending the message and trying to get someone to kind of go outside their relationship was very, very persistent about it. And um, they knew while they were doing it, this is really dumb. If I get caught, you know, I'm going to hurt this person I care about. Or, you know, you knew that if you were the one, to, you know, responding. But at the same time, there was this pull, you know. Um, I do see you talking this out with your partner. Whoever is staying or who wants to stay in their marriage is going to have to work really, really hard. Um, there's going to have to be a lot of effort put in. So whether it's you saying, okay, yeah, we can try this again, but you're really going to have to prove to me that <laughs> this is worth it. Um, and that I shouldn't just, you know, move on to greener pastures here. Um, somebody may be talking to a lawyer to file papers, but they may not go through with it. And, uh, you know, I, I, I just feel like there's something that it's like, okay, yes, we're going to end this legally. And then it's like, let's try to work it out. Uh, cause there's still a lot here. I still love you. Um, you know, do you still love me? I feel like Taurus, you're going to have to kind of come to grips with your feeling, how you feel about somebody, especially if you're in a long-term relationship and this has happened, whether you've done it or whether they've done it, you know, how do we feel about each other? And let's talk this out. You may need to go talk to a therapist and that may be part of the effort. You may tell them like, okay, you know, I will, I'll consider it, but we're going to have to go to therapy or couples counseling or talk this out and figure out why this disruption happened, why this, why you, you know, took this foolish risk or they may be telling you that. Um, uh, Taurus, for some of you, if you're the one that's like, you're single, but you were involved with somebody who was other, you know, otherwise attached, you're just feeling like that was just a really stupid thing to do. Um, you know, but maybe you didn't know. I do feel like, again, when you feel taken advantage of sometimes it's because you find out this per you didn't know this person was still married or maybe you did but you know they were separated but then for whatever reason this this person has decided to stay with you know instead of getting divorced you know you thought it was heading for divorce court or that's what they told you and, uh, you know, you may be kind of beaten up on yourself, Taurus. Like, that was a stupid thing to do. That was a st stupid risk to take. 
risking my heart that way and getting involved with someone that, uh, you know, wasn't completely divorced. It wasn't signed, sealed, delivered, um, you know. So, I mean, but a lot of people are, you know, they start dating when they're separated and, and you know, they're living separately. And, um, you know, there's no way you could have known. Um, and you probably weren't supposed to know. Maybe probably with justice here, it was one of those karmic lessons. Um, but February, it's, it's like, you know, I... I do feel like you will be talking to this person again, so it may not be over. You know, I, again, I was, I keep going back to that. It could be fixed no matter who you are in this scenario. Um, this feels more personal, I gotta say, for most of you than like work or anything like that. I have like no pentacles whatsoever. So, um, yeah, if this isn't applying to you and it won't be for some of you, again, your, uh, reading this month is probably coming through your rising sign. Um, or we can always take a look at what's going on with you in a private session. Um, but that's what I see here, Taurus, and you are going to get over this, but I do feel like you're going to be like maybe talking to someone about it. Definitely talk to a friend. Don't, don't keep this all inside. Again, no matter what side of this you're on, um, it does seem like there's somebody who will be there for you, who will be able, you know, you'll be able to confide in and talk to. And sometimes we just need to get it out, right? And then when you say some things, you're like, whoa, I, I, I just had a realization, right? I just had like a lightning strike of why this happened or maybe what led to this. So um, others of you may be talking to a professional. You may be going, again, to couples counseling. That may be the key um, or what's decided by the end of February to uh, to see if you can fix this um, or fix some relationship or even just fix yourself, you know, so that you can move on. But that's what I see here in February, Taurus. But uh looks like uh, for some of you anyway, it's... Um, a bit of a, a, a topsy-turvy month, but let's see which animal spirit message has further wisdom and advice for you. And we normally get a lot of absolutely uh, brilliant insights from these cards. And a lot of times they, messages come through that I didn't see in this reading. So if you really need an extra guidance, definitely check that out. And of course your love reading for 2019 is over there as well. If you wanna see where you go from here, uh, I encourage you to check that out. So I'll see you over on Vimeo. Uh, happy Valentine's Day, Taurus. I, I hope that you know whatever you want to repair can be repaired. Thanks for stopping by and I'll see you back here next time.